I was approached by this, our film guy, you know, the guy behind the camera you guys will see all the time, wanted us to build him a trike. I'm like, okay, and we were trading off for videos, so he's the one posting all these videos, which I think he's a very talented guy. Had a pretty, pretty much all the ideas, everything he wanted to do, he just needed to make it happen. So brought this thing in, we just started welding everything. First thing we started was kind of getting the frame situated. He had some, it looked like somebody else had tried to tack it and everything was kind of a little out of shape. So we had to break some welds loose, kind of get everything squared back up. Got her all lined up, tacked everything real good. Started at the back section, had everything nice and level and square and true and just worked our way forward. Well, here I'll show you how clear and beautiful you can make it. everything tacked together and then we just put the engine mount in and we got to the engine mount had the plate just didn't have clearance and all the issues with the rear end moving around and all that stuff so we kind of had to prop it up and get it right where we wanted it put the chain on it and kind of wired that up made sure it was all traveling through and everything got it all together packed it to play motor out and then welded the crap out of everything. Make sure it's going to stay be a lot of torque on that area.
then we move forward. Started putting rack and pinion and all that stuff together. Which is a challenge on something you've never done before. So, I mean, it's just kind of a trial and error project. But uh, we worked through it. He'd already ordered the, um, I guess it was a rack out of a Porsche 911, an older one. And it turned real good. It's all aluminum. Just kind of made a plate for it, drilled some holes, bolted it up, cut a little knot. So the steering arm could turn and then plane clearance. Got it bolted up, put it in place, tacked it in there. Without even having a steering column in, because we didn't even know where we were putting that yet. None of that was put in. Put the seat in it. Forgot about the seat. That's probably the most important part. <laughs> now I know this side is great. Just same thing, you know, kind of fabbing, fabbing little pieces up, drilling your holes. Bolting everything together, putting her in there, lining it up where it sits good, and then tacking it down and pull the seat out and then the crap out of everything. Not bad.
got that in, started moving on to the steering column. Got that thing kind of put in there, you know, and uh, didn't know how it was going to line up. He had some knuckles left over. We got, a, I think, a Mustang steering wheel he bought. Brought that into us. We kind of lined that up, redid the knuckles. Made a new shaft, which we still have a little work to do left on that, but we got it pretty close to where it at least steers now. And I see here we still have the battery charger and the batteries to do. <laughs> That'll be interesting. <laughs> 